John Lampy here. We're up in the woods on a late October day and we're going to be doing a buckthorn clear out. This is a tree that marks a spot and we're going to, there's a bunch of stems of buckthorn. Most of them do not have leaves on this year. Uh, normally this time of year they would probably still have their leaves on except that it, there's been such a drought that a lot of the leaves have dried up but there are a lot of stems in this area and what we're going to do is we're going to clear out those stems like these right over here and they're all right around this uh, tag we've marked with this uh, yellow tape and as you can see there's just a lot of stems in this area right in through here some of the buckthorn have berries on them and normally people will tell you get rid of the berries you got to burn them or something like that but we've always found that when you uh, oftentimes when you stack up those berries into a burn pile some animals will eat them anyhow so it's probably not all that helpful to to uh, take them off and put them on the ground so we actually just we just cut them and leave them in place and then assume that a lot of them will die and then get the small ones when they're starting to come up as you can see again a lot of berries but this is a real thicket in here just tons of small buckthorn that we're going to clear out and we're just going to use some simple tools we're going to use a machete a loppers and a handsaw and then once we're done with the initial clear, we're gonna use some herbicide. It's a foam herbicide. And it's a foam herbicide uh, dispenser, uh, one that uh, we've developed at Green Tubes. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to just take down a uh, small stem of a buckthorn, this one right here. It's about, it's about a half inch. And usually what we do is we just cut it near the top a couple times just like this. This will take you about 30 seconds to get it all the way down here. Then we usually leave it about that high, so that's about two feet off the ground. And then we'll come back later and uh, cut it low to the ground and then stump treat it. But we do this and then we just cut up all these branches on the ground, get them as close to the ground as possible so they're not a fire risk. And it's real easy. Come Next spring most of this stuff will already be rotted and it'll be real easy to get through here. If, if you don't do this, if you just cut them down and uh, don't come out, cut them up into small bits, you have a real problem getting through there in future years. So it's real easy, just a couple like this. If it's a high tree, just chop it like that. It's a great way to get a little exercise, keep you warm. And we'll go through this whole area and get all these little stems out of the way. Okay, my brother here is demonstrating a technique that he uses to get rid of a stem. We actually cut them high initially, like this. So that's pretty high, that's like two feet off the ground. We'll do that initially, and then just trim up the branch like this. He's using a machete. Just cut it up. We cut it up really small so that when you are coming through the area again, you've got nothing very high. So you see how he just slices that stem up. Turn this way around. Now I like so he's, he's just chopping it up. And so all that stuff goes on the ground. Now this may look like a lot of work but compared to hauling all of this stuff out of here it's actually a lot less work. So we'll do that with this whole group of little stems. They're all, I would say the majority of them are right around one to two inches in diameter. So it's about a couple hours later and we have done a lot of the initial trimming where we trim a bunch of these stems about chest height. And you can see how much easier it makes it to walk through here. You can see all these different stems like this one that we've cut at about chest height and it just makes it easier to walk through and a lot of that stuff we've gotten down onto the ground like over in there 
So that stuff will decompose really quickly. If it stands up straight, it'll take several years, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. If it's down on the ground like this. It may only take a year before it decomposes. Okay, we're just, uh, we've got all the top trees around here and we're just taking the loppers and going through and getting all the ones that are sort of the smaller ones. We'll come back and get some of the bigger ones, like that one with a handsaw. But these ones, we're just lopping like this. Doing with, with the camera here. Just lopping it off, leaving a stump, and then treating it with foam herbicide from Green Shoots. And we'll do that on every one of these these stumps in this area, all these suckers, and then come back and get some of them with a handsaw. Okay, so we're, this is an area where we've done some lopping now. And you can see, like, here's some of the stems we've cut and treated. They're all over the place around here. So this area is now getting really pretty clear. We've still got some of the larger stems, like this one. We're gonna come back and get that one with a saw. But you can see how close to the ground all those pieces that we've cut up. So this area is really quite clear and it's only taken us maybe a couple hours to, to clear out this whole area, probably 100 feet by 100 feet. And we really didn't have to transport anything around this area so it's really it's starting to get clear already rob is gonna just saw this tree down with a handsaw just like that and then i'll just treat the stump with the chemical so that's got the foam herbicide on it right on the stump another one he's doing again Foam herbicide on the stump. Foam herbicide on this stump. Here's a now the nice thing about having already trimmed off the tops of these trees. They're a lot easier to handle. You don't have a tree falling on top of you. So like this right here, notice how easily that falls down. And it's really easy to come in here. All this area is so clear that you don't have anything to worry about. It's real easy to get around. Another stump, you can see the ones we treated earlier, right? The smaller ones we treated already. Then we just do the foam herbicide on this one. Boom. So we pretty much cleaned up this entire area. Got a few left. So there's where our sign is and you can see we pretty much cleaned up this whole area. We haven't moved any of the uh, brush out of here. It's all been chopped up and just left on the ground like that. You see it's pretty fine stuff. You can see all the stumps we've treated. And you can see how clear that entire area is. We've really uh, done a number on most of that stuff. We've left a couple of tall stumps in the back, which is okay, we can get those at a later date. You can see those in the back of the section here that we just cleared out. Some of those, we'll just leave those for now. Uh, left a couple over there too, but generally this whole area is cleared out. This is probably a good 100, 150 by 150 area we did in an afternoon. So that's pretty much it. That's our technique for getting rid of uh, buckthorn and any other kind of invasive woody species. Just chopping it up and leaving it on the ground and letting it rot. That way you don't have to burn it. You don't have to uh, haul it anywhere. And that's pretty simple.